everybody, this is Pete Colisano with PeteColisano.com. I did something yesterday um, that I thought I would share with you. And uh, instead of typing it out, I thought I would just do a video for you. So yesterday, um, I intentionally stayed away from all politics. Not just on television, which is frankly pretty easy to do. You just turn your TV off. But also, uh, I didn't click anything online. Uh, I didn't read any emails that had anything to do with politics. I didn't talk about politics with anybody. Uh, and that was done intentionally. I figured for one day, uh, one day just to stay away from anything that had anything to do with politics. Um, why would I do that? I think sometimes we get overly obsessed with all kinds of things. Politics just happens to be the one currently that people are really losing their minds over. Maybe rightfully so, maybe not, I have no idea. My guess is that most people are overdoing it on both sides. Um, but either way, there's all kinds of things that we can get overly wrapped up in. We see it all the time with sports, uh, professional sports. People get wrapped up in their teams. You see fights in the stands, fights in the parking lots. Not only are there fights, but there's people actually killing each other over a game, over a sports game. So I, I would suggest or maybe just try something out. Think of it as an experiment to maybe give a day off each week, just one day, to something that you might think that you obsess over a little bit. It could be politics, uh, could be sports, could be lots of different things. Uh, maybe it's the gym. Some people are overly obsessed about going to the gym. I can tell you as a phys ed teacher, you can definitely overdo that. And you work out so much and so long and so hard that your returns are greatly diminished. So whatever it may be, I would I would say at least consider taking a break. I'll tell you a quick story. When I was at my last school, there was a young man who was coming up through elementary and middle school who was maybe the most unbelievable wrestler the town had ever seen. He was undefeated, won all kinds of state tournaments and everything. It's fantastic. They couldn't wait till he got to the high school. And he finally arrived at the high school. And after his freshman year with only one loss at, at the varsity level, which is unbelievable, um, he quit, never wrestled again. And everybody was like, why, why would he do that? And I remember thinking it's so obvious why he would do that because he's done it his whole life, every day, all day, all he ever did was eat, drink, and sleep wrestling, that he had had enough. He didn't want to do it anymore. It wasn't fun. It wasn't even interesting. So a young man who was great at something, I mean, really great at something, pretty good kid, good student, he actually turned around and just quit wrestling, never wrestled again. So I encourage you maybe to consider Letting go of something for a day. Hey, it's important to be informed. Whether if it's politics, it's important to be informed. If you go to the gym, it's important to go to the gym. Okay. If you're into sports, that's a great thing. It's not a bad thing. It's when we get obsessed. It's when we push. It's when we push people away from us over the thing that we're talking about here. So sometime this week, over the next seven days, maybe consider something that you may obsess over and letting it go just for a day to see what happens. Just let it go for one day and see what happens. My experience yesterday, I was fine. <laughs> I was able to go one day without politics. And I woke up this morning and guess what? You won't believe what happened. There was still politics on television, on the internet, everywhere you go, on the radio, you name it, it was out there. So, so think about maybe sacrificing one day a week for your obsession and see how that makes you feel. I felt pretty good yesterday without politics. See how that makes you feel. I'll talk to you guys soon.